we are all familiar with the diary.io dashboard so let's get started so the first thing we have to do is if you don't have a github account sign up for a github account you can actually sign up using this link join github it's going to ask you for some information like your username your email and your password and immediately you complete the registration you're going to be able to see this dashboard so this is how your dashboard will look like so let's create a new repository click on this new repository so what is a repository a repository is actually a place where you keep your project files where you keep your documentations on how you implemented that project so for me i'm going to name it diary.io hyphen pbl so that means if i actually go to my github i'll see this repository and immediately i see it i know oh this is for diary.io project i'm going to be giving it a description description means if anybody comes to this github repository they're going to see this is where I keep all my diary.io projects. So immediately they come to this repo, they say, okay, so this repository actually consists of your diary.io project. And also make sure you make it public. You making it public means anybody can actually see this repository. So if anybody have an issue with maybe project one or project two they can actually come to your repository and it's going to be useful for them private means you choose only who you want to see that repository so most times i advise people to actually choose public because you want people to see what you're doing you want to be able to share the link with people so we're going to be adding a readme dot readme file readme file means if anybody comes to this repository, they'll say, oh, this repository actually consists of diary.io project. But how did you implement this project? What are the challenges you face? This is where you add everything to readme file. You click on choose a license. So um, we have several licenses, but I'm going to be choosing MIT license. After we are done, we can now create our repository. So our repository has been created and what we have here is our license and our readme file. Let's scroll down. You can see what I wrote in my description. This is where I keep all my diary.io projects is showing. So for example, let's say I actually want to submit my project one tax. I go to show all courses. So it takes me to my project one. Go to project. Let me access the project. So it's going to take me to this place. This is my project one. So the topic of my project one is web stack implementation. So I'll go back to my GitHub repository. Don't forget our GitHub repository is diary.io iPhone PBL. You can actually give it any name, but give it a name that you'll be able to recognize that this is for diary.io project. So with this, I'm going to be creating a new file. Or I'm going to be adding a new file. You click add file, create new file. Project one dot md so you saying dot md means it's a markdown text like you can actually add anything to it it's going to be formatted for you so i'm going to be showing us how we can do this make sure you commit the file so once you commit the file you're going to see it here in your license readme and your project one.md so if you click on your project one.md you notice there's nothing there because we didn't write anything there so how can we start writing something inside this project one.md let's click edit it 
so you click on this pencil edit this file so let's go back to our project one the topic for our project one is web stack implementation in aws so i'm going to be copying it and pasting it here paste so let's preview it so this is what we have so for example you want to make it adding one you add an ash you preview it you can see it's bigger you want to make it adding two you put an ash you preview it you can see it's a little bit smaller to adding one so let's continue editing so after this topic this is the adding so for example i want to add some text to it i want to add a technology stack is a set of framework so i'm going to be copying it and pasting it here paste so you can preview it even before you commit the file so we have a technology stack so let's edit it so for example you have a uh, a project you're working on and you want to add image from your your environment so i'm going to be showing us how to add image i use what we call a sniping tool so you click on new so let's say we want to add this image you drag it make sure you save it save us so i'm going to be naming it test one let's save it save so let's duplicate this page so for us to add image most times i use issues i think issues is a little bit simpler so let's create new issue you don't necessarily need to add title what you just need to do is locate where you save your images i saved my in pictures I saved it as test one so I'm going to be dragging it to this place as we can all see can we all see it's actually uploading the file so immediately it's done I'm going to be copying this link and pasting it in my project one.md don't forget project one.md so let's preview it Let's preview it and let's see. Okay. So we can see it's showing the image. It's as simple as that. Like just clicking and adding the link. Like you drag the image from your picture folder or wherever folder you kept it and drag it to new issues. Then you copy the link from new issues. You paste it inside this particular project one.md file so let's commit these changes but before we commit let's add what we did so you can just say i added image to my file so commit the changes so immediately you commit the changes the changes is being saved as you can see this is our project dot one project one dot md file where you can see our title we can see our text and we can see our image so let's go back so how do we submit this project we go back to our repository we we'll right right click on this project one.md you copy the link address copy the link address then you go to your dashboard this is our dashboard project one you go to project Then you submit your project for review. You select project one. Then you paste the link that you copied. Then you submit it. It's as simple as ABC. So what you're just doing is you're just clicking, like you're right clicking on project one.md. Okay. You right clicking on project one.md you're copying the link address you're going back to your dashboard and you're pasting the link and you're submitting 
is as simple as ABC. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.